So Owen, what do you think about lifting belts, dude? I think lifting belts are for pussies. Hello darkness, my old friend. Yo, what's going on guys? Coach Show here at the Lion's Den and today we're gonna to be talking about the infamous lifting belt, okay? Or belts that people use for resistance training in general. Now, in this video, we're gonna cover what it is, then we're gonna cover who should use it, when you should use it, and then lastly, maybe some misconceptions about the belt. Now, as we get into the actual belt itself, there are all different makes and models of belts, and I'm gonna link below a couple of the top ones that people from the gym use, that I use, and that they're just top recommended. And typically, most belts are gonna be a leather make, but there are different materials that people do make belts out of, and there are also belts uh, made out of Velcro, and specifically for certain sports, maybe such as Olympic weightlifting. But most importantly, depending on what strength sport you're in, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you check the federation that you compete in to see what is allowed and not allowed in that federation specifically. In the end, it really comes down to what are you comfortable lifting in and what's allowed by your federation if you're a competitive strength sport athlete. So really in a nutshell, the belt is just gonna help increase the inner abdominal pressure that you're creating when you're breathing and bracing. And when you do create this inner abdominal pressure, it's gonna keep the spine from moving around, especially under heavy loads. Most people in general can lift more with a belt on than they can off. So that's just something to consider, especially as you're training for the long haul and long term down the road, it's gonna help with strength gains. So for myself and a lot of athletes that I coach, or maybe people who are a little bit more in the intermediate to advanced phase of their lifting, the belt is a great way in terms of programming to help manage uh, stress and fatigue. Most people are gonna be able to lift more, like I said, with the belt on, and then when they take the belt off for certain maybe variations, it's gonna help get the right stress response uh, and fatigue management that we're looking for in terms of our, our programming. So if you're walking around the gym and you see someone with a belt on, you're probably thinking, one, they're a pussy and they need to man up, or two, I need to get a belt and when should I start using a belt for lifting? Now typically the rule of thumb for me is I like to kind of have some wiggle room between one to three months with my athletes training without a belt. And the reason that I want that to happen is because I want them to get the basics of the movements down before we just throw a belt on them, I kind of just like toss them into the fire. So I wanna also make sure that they're properly learning how to breathe and brace because if they can do that without a belt, it's only going to enhance the effect with the belt once they put that on. But what I'm trying to say is there's no real set time frame for this. So if you've been training for a while, there's no reason why you shouldn't have a belt. And if you just started, I would highly invest in a belt so that you maybe one, it takes a little bit of time to get them. So you're gonna need a couple of weeks to a month to receive your belt if it's a good belt, uh, or you just wanna have it on hand for when you are ready to put that belt on for your training. So another use for the belt would be pain management. So say you're training hard and all of a sudden you tweak something. It doesn't matter what it is, could be anything. And whenever you do that lift, it's causing you a little bit of pain and discomfort. Now, when you, if you can put the belt on and it's going to reduce the pain, I'm a fan of that because it's allowing you to train. And in the grand scheme of things, I'm way more happy with athletes who can continue to train than ever just taking time off and not training at all. So as you guys know, about a year ago, I tweaked my back really bad. And something that had helped me to keep on training through that tweak or injury was the use of a belt. Now it hurt when I didn't have a belt on. However, when I put the belt on, I was able to deadlift and squat and it really reduced the pain. Now, a lot of that could have been psychological, but in the end, I don't care because I was able to still train and that pain eventually went away. So let's talk about the misconceptions. One of the biggest misconceptions, and I'm sure you've heard this too, is that if you wear a belt, you're gonna lose core strength, or simply, you're not using your core when you have a belt on. Now, it has been shown that when you do have a belt on, you actually are contracting even harder and able to contract harder with that belt on using those muscles. Another grand misconception is that if I put the belt on, it is better for injury prevention. Now, that hasn't really been proven, but I will say this, if you have an expectation of something, the chances of that expectation to come true is very likely. So if you have pain and you expect that putting this belt on is gonna reduce my pain, psychologically, that effect is a lot more likely to happen, which is what we see a lot of with people who maybe do have back pain when they do a certain lift, they put their belt on and it takes the pain away. So I don't wanna keep this video too long, guys, but hopefully you enjoyed this little segment on a lifting belt. I do encourage you all to at some point have a lifting belt in your arsenal of tools to use while you're training, and it's a great tool to have for programming when you're trying to really make some strong strength gains. So what I'm gonna do now is just talk to some people in the gym, and we're gonna ask them if they wear a belt, don't wear a belt, 
and if they do, what kind of belt that they use. And like I said, I'll plug a couple down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay? Give this video a like, share it with your friends and family. I really appreciate the support. And until then guys, stay lean, mean, track machine. We'll catch up later. All right, we got Coach Matt in the house. What's up, guys? So, Coach Matt, do you wear a lifting belt? If so, what kind of belt do you wear, and any thoughts on it? Yeah, so I'm actually uh, subscribed to the double belt lifestyle right now. So I have a Ray-Ban soft belt, which is real common for like any strongman. You'll see them wearing the Ray-Ban belt. I wear that underneath my leather belt, and that's just an Inzer belt. Um, that was real popular a few years ago before Pioneer kind of took over there. So, Inzer belt and Ray-Ban belt. If you could have any belt in the world, what would it be? Um, definitely upgrade to the Pioneer belt at this point for sure. Hey there, Coach Tanya. Hey guys, what's up? Hey Coach Tanya, do you wear a lifting belt? I do. What kind of belts do you have? I have two. I have a black leather rogue belt, more of a hard firm belt, and then I have a soft belt. I like the soft belt for more of a Olympic style lifting so that the um, clip doesn't get in the way of the bar. And then my leather belt I use more for um, my benching, my deadlifting, and my squatting. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And bridge, and bridge, and bridge. Do you wear a lifting belt? Nope. Okay. All right, Coach Brittany over here. What's up, Coach hey. Britt? Hey, how are you? So, Coach Britt, do you wear a lifting belt? And if you do, what kind of belt do you wear? And what do you think overall about your belt? I do wear a lifting belt. I have a rogue, regular, hard lifting belt. I wear it when I do real heavy lifts. So, deadlifts, if I'm going for a max, or if I'm just feeling like I need extra support. Um, really heavy squats. Definitely when I do yoke walks. And I just find that it's super helpful, way more supportive. Oh, we got Justin messing in the house. Justin, do you wear a lifting belt? I do. And what kind of belt do you have? It is a lever belt from Pioneer. Oh, nice. And um, I have Rise from the Ashes uh, because there was a point in my life where I thought that I was at my lowest of low, but this basically tells me every single day to get up and rise and do your best, 100%. Trains your outlet here. Yes. Like an after my man. Yes. Got competition coming up. I do. The Lion State Classic, two number two. Man, it's gonna